welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have this star baby blanket pattern for you guys, and I'm just going to link everything that I used in the description, um, but pretty much you can use any type of non-bulky yarn for this project. And you can use as many colors as you want. I just used this green and this off-white color. Um, but I'm also going to show you guys how I did the color change as well. So you can use as many or as few colors as you want in this project. Um, but to start out, we're going to start off um, using a magic circle. And I'm going to show you guys how I do my magic circle. There's a few ways to do this, but I'm going to explain why this is my favorite. You're going to lay the tail end of your yarn against your fingers like so. Wrap your working yarn around like that. Go under this first layer and pull up a loop through this big circle. And then take your working yarn and chain one. Now this chain one doesn't count as anything. Um, I just use it to kind of hold everything in place. Now within this magic circle, you're going to place 20 double crochets. I'm going to show you guys how I start off a round when I'm using a double crochet. Sometimes people like to just chain two and have that count as a double crochet, um, but I just don't like the way that, that looks, so I'll show you guys what I do. I draw up my loop like this, and then I hold the loop with my index finger, and I essentially yarn over with that loop. Then I'll insert my hook into this big circle and draw up a loop. Now I will yarn over and pull through these two loops. I can let my index finger off at this point and then yarn over and pull through those two loops. And that is our first double crochet. Then we'll do our second double crochet. And here's our third. And you're going to repeat that until you have 20 double crochets all around this circle in total. And then I'm going to show you guys how to finish off the round. Okay, so at this point I have all 20 of my double crochets right here. I'm going to take the tail end of my yarn. I'm going to pull it tight. And that's why I like this method of a magic circle the most because you could adjust the inner circle and then you can tie it off so it doesn't continue to get bigger um, throughout your project. But I'm going to place a slip stitch at the top of the first double crochet that we did to end off the first round. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to start the second round and this is gonna actually start the star shape for us. So I'm going to skip this first stitch that I'm in right now. I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch and place a single crochet. Okay, I'm going to skip the next stitch again. And in the second stitch from my hook, I'm going to place three double crochets. Here is one, two, and three. Okay, at this point you have three double crochets in one stitch and now you're going to chain three. Now you're going to place three more double crochets into that same stitch. Here's one, two, and three. Now skip the next stitch and into the second stitch place another single crochet. Now we're going to repeat this pattern in the second stitch from our hook. So skip this one and place three more double crochets into the second stitch from your hook. Here are two and three. Now we're going to chain three once again and place three more double crochets into that same space. Okay, 
Okay, now skip the next stitch and in the second stitch place a single crochet. Okay, now skip the next stitch and in the second stitch repeat the pattern that we've been doing and place three double crochets. Now chain three and place three more double crochets into that same space. All right, skip the next stitch and into the second stitch place a single crochet. We're going to repeat this pattern two more times. Skip the next stitch and in the second stitch place three double crochets. All right, chain three. Place three more double crochets into that same stitch. Okay, at this point you should have four points in your round. Skip the next stitch and in the second stitch place a single crochet and we're going to repeat this pattern one last time. Skip the next stitch, and the next stitch, or the second stitch from your hook, place three double crochets. Chain three. And place three more double crochets into that same stitch. All right, now place a slip stitch into that first single crochet from the round. And now you have what should look like a star after finishing your second round. To begin round three, we are going to place a slip stitch, not into the stitch that we are currently in right now, but into the next one. And then into the next two stitches, we are each going to place one double crochet. And I, because I'm starting a new round and I'm starting with a double crochet, I'm going to do the double crochet that I showed you guys at the beginning in the magic circle, where I pull up my loop, hold my finger here, wrap it around my hook, insert my hook into the stitch, and place the double crochet. So there's one, then I'm going to place one into the next stitch. And now we have two double crochets. Now here we have our chain three space from the previous round, and as you can see, we have our chain three spaces in every point. And this pattern is going to stay the same throughout the entire project. Um, you're going to do three double crochets into this chain three space. So here is one, two, and three. We're going to chain three and place three more double crochets into that same chain three space. Okay, now into these next two stitches, we are each going to place one double crochet. So here is one, and here is the next one. Now we are going to skip the next two stitches, and into the third stitch, we are going to place a double crochet. There's one. And then into the next stitch as well, place another double crochet. 
and then we have reached our chain three space. So we are going to do the same pattern that is going to remain the same for the entirety of the project. Place three double crochets. Here's two and three. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And into that same space, I'm going to place three more double crochets. All right, and into the next two stitches, we are each going to place one double crochet. So here is one, and here is the next one. Okay, now we are going to skip the next two stitches, and into the third stitch, place a double crochet. And hopefully you're starting to pick up the pattern here. Um, now into the next stitch, we are also going to place a double crochet. And then we have once again reached the chain three space. So we are going to place three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now chain three. And place three more double crochets into that same space. All right. Now into each of the next two stitches, place a double crochet. And then once again, skip the next two stitches and place a double crochet into the third and fourth stitch from your hook. All right, we have reached the chain three space. So place three double crochets. Here is two and here's my third and then chain three one two three and then into that same space place three more double crochets all right and place a double crochet into each of the next two stitches Now skip the next two stitches and in the third and fourth stitch from your hook, place one double crochet. All right, we have now reached the last point in our last chain three space of this round. So place three more double crochets and then chain three. and then place three more double crochets into that same chain three space. Now in each of the next two stitches, place one double crochet. All right. Now you can finish off your round with a slip stitch into the very first double crochet. And then you will be done with round three. And this is what your project should look like so far. All right, and to begin on the next round, we are going to skip the stitch that we are currently in and place a slip stitch into the next one. And then also into that same stitch, place a double crochet and then place one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. All right, and we have reached our chain three space. So we're gonna do the same pattern by placing three double crochets. Here's one, two, 
two and three, chain three, place three more double crochets. Here's one, two, and three. All right, and here's where we change up a little bit. We're going to place um, one double crochet into each of the next four stitches, but we're not going to skip this one this time. So we're, it's going to look like it's in the same space, but we're going to go right here. So here's one, and then into the next stitch, two, into the next stitch, three, and into the next stitch, four. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches, and then into the third stitch, place another double crochet. And then into each of the next three stitches, place a double crochet. All right, and then that brings us to another chain three space. So we're gonna repeat that same pattern by placing three double crochets. Here's my third, then chain three. And in that same space, place three more double crochets. Then we are going to repeat the pattern that we just did going down from this point. Don't skip this stitch. Insert your hook and place a double crochet. And then into the next three stitches, place one double crochet into each. All right, skip the next two stitches and then into each of the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth stitch from your hook, place a double crochet. And then that brings us back to the chain three space at the point of the star. And you're gonna repeat this pattern of going up and down so you get back to the beginning and I'm going to show you guys how I do my color changes before we begin the next round. Once you're at the point of doing the slip stitch in order to join the ends of the round, you're going to insert your hook like you normally would and this is to do the color change. Um, insert the hook like you normally would but instead of yarning over with your current color, you're going to pick up your new color, yarn over, and pull through. I like to hold them tight before I um, actually weave it in because it can come loose and it can make your stitches loose. But then to begin the next round, you're going to insert your hook into that same space and pull up the yarn and place a slip stitch and then into the next space place a double crochet however you have been doing thus far. It can be a little bit tricky with your new yarn. There we go. And then once you pull everything tight and weave everything in, you can hardly tell um, where it begins. Okay, and then for the to continue this round into each of the next stitches before you get to the chain three space, you're going to place one double crochet. And I believe there should be six total. So here's one, two. Three, four, five, and six. All right, and we are now at the chain three space. 
we're going to do that same pattern that we have been doing at the tip of every point in our star by placing three double crochets. Here's my third, then chain three, and then place three more double crochets into that same space. Okay, and because we worked up to this point with six double crochets, we're now going to work down with six double crochets. And remember, don't forget to place your first one into this first stitch right here. Here's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and here is our sixth. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches and into the third, third, place a double crochet. Then you're going to work back up to this point with five more double crochets, work back down with six, up with six, and at every point you're going to do your three double crochet, chain three, three more double crochet pattern, and then you're going to finish off your round with a slip stitch. And then you're going to continue that pattern for every round. So for the next round, you are going to work up to the point with eight double crochets, do your pattern in the chain three space, work your way down with eight double crochets, and then you're going to increase every round by two double crochets for going up and back down. And I'll show you on my blanket that I made. I switched colors after every five um, rounds, except for this last round I ran out of enough green yarn, so I only did three rounds. But you can make it as big or as small as you want. I honestly wanted to keep going, but like I said, I ran out of yarn. Um, but yeah, that's the entire pattern. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.